the chosen. Are you interested? Then stay tuned. Hello. I was at my office this afternoon getting caught up on some work and um, I'm really excited about something that's premiering tonight and I just wanted to drop in here for a minute and tell you a little bit about it. I shared on my first comeback video that I had a different attitude, I guess would be the best way to put it, about life and about just things in general probably. And I wanna share one aspect of that today. I've got another one that's a whole different video, but I wanted to share this one today. You see, I've shared with you that I lost my sister in February. So by the 1st of March, I was grief stricken and I really didn't know what to do. I had been staying with her for probably about 18 months and so I just felt lost all the time like I didn't have a place uh, I always felt like I needed to be somewhere and I, I didn't know where that was and occasionally I would think oh I'm supposed to be at her house anyway my husband went to Texas around the 18th of March so that week that he was gone I was even more lost. I didn't know what to do with my time. I was too sad to make videos, so I just watched a lot of videos. Praise the Lord for Sandy with Let's Get Fit with Sandy. She got me through a lot of down times, a lot of times when I was feeling sorry for myself or I was so disheartened because I had been struggling with three or four pounds all year on Weight Watchers. I just couldn't seem to get them off. And I would watch her, and, and she was struggling some too. So I felt a sisterhood with her. So I was getting caught up on her videos, and I was on YouTube, obviously, and on the right side where it has your feed, I noticed a thumbnail called The Chosen. Now I could tell the guy that was pictured in it was probably a biblical character and I thought hey this will be great I, I'm gonna watch this and I was really intrigued when I saw it say season one episode one. I knew that meant that it was a series and a series I'd never heard of so I clicked on it. Well, during the week, there were eight episodes in season one. And during that week that my husband was gone, I guess I watched those eight episodes at least two times each. And within that week, I became hooked on The Chosen. You know, it centers around Jesus and the people he chose to follow him. The first few episodes, I'll just warn you right now, the first few episodes are introducing the characters and sometimes uh, it might seem a little slow or it's hard. It's just like a book. You're getting used to whoever is in the book. Well, that's the way it is with this series. I mean, Jesus barely is in the first two episodes. Uh, in the third episode, he's in it most of the episode. I'm not giving away any spoilers. I'm just telling you, be patient. Because by the fourth episode, you'll be hooked, just like I was. And the fourth episode is one of my favorites. Now, you can still find these on YouTube. And if you have not been watching The Chosen, <laughs> please consider watching it. During the pandemic, especially the first few months, I was stuck at home and I struggled to find anything worth watching. 
most every video, movie, whatever I watched had so much sex and violence and profanity, I couldn't watch it. So I searched for good moral value film, and I found quite a few, but this one tops them all. So tonight, I think it's episode six from season two that premieres, and I'm very excited about it, but I don't recommend any of you out there that haven't watched the first season to watch tonight. You'll get to watch it eventually, but I know you will be blessed if you start watching The Chosen, and if you're already watching it, I hope you'll be there with me, all ready and excited to see what's going to happen tonight. Thank you for watching this video. I, I know it's not been about Weight Watchers, but it is as important to me and my life as Weight Watchers is. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And let me know how you think about this new part of Mima McLiving Healthy. I think it's one of the best parts of me. Goodbye.